there's this narrative that Skull is not great, and um, the narrative that he doesn't get a lot of respect, which he should. He prepares his team every single night. If you just watch the Miami Heat, no matter who's on the floor, they're gonna play heat culture, they're gonna play hard, they're gonna play together. That's what he's always been about. And um, it's been you guys that have changed the narrative or, or have never given Skull's respect because he had D-Wade or he had myself, he had Bosch. But a lot of coaches have talent. A lot of coaches have had talent over the NBA over the course of this league. That's not one. Um, you know, and it's, and it's unfortunate that he hasn't gotten his respect. And every time we talk about Spo when I was there and we talk about how great he prepared us and we all talked about it's a great plan for Spo and things of that nature, you guys always say, well, you know, you guys, you have LeBron, you have D-Wade, you have Bosch. Any coach can do it. Not, no. Any coach can do it. If any coach could do it, then there would be a, a there'd be a lot more champions in this league. There'd be a lot more successful coaches. So the Spo likes it. That's what that's what that's what fuels Spo is the disrespect that you guys give him to the, the, the basketball world. Uh, and I'm not gonna sit up here and uh, act like I don't know what Spo is all about because he's damn good. Um, it's probably been the most challenging thing I've ever done as far as a professional, as far as uh, committing to something and actually, uh, you know, making it through. Uh, but uh, I knew what I was coming, what we were coming here for. Uh, obviously, you didn't, I, was, I would be lying if I sat up here and knew that everything inside the bubble would, what it would, you know, the toll that it would take on your mind and your body and, and everything else. But it's been, it's been extremely tough. But you know, I'm, I'm here for one reason and one reason only, and that's to compete for a championship. And that was my mindset. Once I entered the bubble, once I entered uh, the quarantine process, the first uh, two days, um, and then right from my first practice, my mindset was to, if I'm gonna be here, um, make the most of it. You know, and see what you can do and lock in on what the main thing is. And the main thing was for us to finish the season for a championship, so that's just been my mindset. Um, you know, throughout these, I don't even know how many days it is. Whatever, how many days it is, it feels like five years. So it really doesn't matter. But uh, I've been as locked in as I've ever been in my career. Um, if you can think back to those four years, what were the most important lessons that you learned about yourself and about leadership in general? Um, I think as far as uh, leadership, um, you know, that, that grows um, no matter where you are every day. If you want to be a leader, if you strive to be a leader every day, um, I think being around, um, you know, Riles and Spo, D Wade and UD, and, uh, and, and, and you know, just the name Few, uh, being a part of that culture um, allowed me to, to grow, um, allowed me to see, uh, you know, what it takes to not only compete for a championship, but also to win a championship. Um, you know, so it, it definitely um, you know, put me in a position um, where I, I knew um, what it took, um, I saw what it took, um, but also um, you know, I, I fit that culture as well because I hard for it. Um, so it was, uh, it was a perfect match uh, for those four years. Um, he's very detailed, like his attention to detail is off the charts. To every series, every game, uh, he's locked in since he stepped into the arena. Um, take care of his body. Uh, he sleeps more than anybody I know. Uh, so those things, like to the things he do now, you know, he had all his recovery stuff shipped in, things like that. But you know, it's, it's why he's been so dominant. 10 to 17 years. Um, it doesn't it seem like he's aging backwards. Um, and it's because he takes care of his body, you know. Um, he always, he's always on me um, about things. You know, if you see something, like, you know, try it this way, or I can be up all night, you know, you need to go to sleep. Sometimes I just can't sleep, so he's right here. He's promoting himself, try my sleep app, the calm app. So he, he's always trying to give me little hints of, of, of how to um, be better, be a better player, um, and, and help my body. And um, I think 
this year, besides like that major fall I took against the Knicks, I think this is, a, this is my time I've been off the floor uh, from an injury. So uh, just being around him and you know, having him help me you know, take, care, take care of my body and uh, some of the things he do. I'm able to stay on the floor and, and play the games that I love and compete.